Let's talk about this major new development in the effort to free Americans, Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan from prison in Russia. A possible prisoner swap could bring the WNBA star and former U.S. Marine back to the United States. Later this week, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to speak with Russia's foreign minister about this substantial proposal that involves a Russian arms dealer imprisoned here in the U.S. Senior White House correspondent Mary Bruce has the latest for us. High stakes diplomacy out in the open. We put a substantial proposal on the table weeks ago to facilitate their release. ABC News confirming that the Biden administration has proposed a prisoner swap with Russia, trading WNBA star Brittany Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan for the release of notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. Nicknamed the Merchant of Death, Boot is serving a 25-year sentence for international arms trafficking and conspiring to kill American citizens. A source confirms the Department of Justice initially opposed his release, but President Biden himself approved the plan. He was um, not only uh, uh, directly involved, um, he signs off on any uh, proposal that uh, that we make. The White House, worried about jeopardizing the deal, is declining to confirm any details of the proposed plan or the swap of boot. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken says he will discuss it all with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in the coming days, their first call since the war in Ukraine began. Whelan has been detained for over three and a half years, serving a 16-year prison sentence for espionage, a charge he and the U.S. government have called baseless. News of the potential swap came as Griner testified for the first time since she was detained more than five months ago. Accused of carrying vape cartridges containing cannabis oil, illegal in Russia, even though her lawyers say she has been prescribed it back home. My rights were never read to me. Uh, no one explained any of it to me. I didn't know exactly what I was signing. Reiterating that she had forgotten the cartridges were in her bag, that it was an honest mistake. I did not plan or have the intent to bring any cannabis or banned substance to Russia. Greiner's Russian lawyer says a swap is possible only after the court reaches a verdict, which is expected early next month. Left out of the White House's announcement, detained American teacher Mark Fogel. Seen here in video from Russian authorities, Fogel was sentenced last month to 14 years for similar drug charges. Now, the Kremlin this morning says there has been no agreement reached on this proposed offer, and Moscow has been critical in the past condemning the Victor Boot case, saying it's an example of American overreach. But the big question now is whether he is important enough to Russia to exchange for these two Americans. Kira. All right, let's talk more about it. Mary Bruce, thanks so much. Earlier on Good Morning America, George Stephanopoulos spoke to the head of communications for the National Security Council, John Kirby, about these negotiations between Russia and the U.S. The Russians seem to confirm this morning that some kind of talks are taking place. So should we assume that we're closer to a deal now? I don't uh, get a, want to get ahead of where we are in the negotiations. Uh, this is a proposal that had been set forth many weeks ago. This isn't something that just happened, George. Uh, so this has been uh, going on for a while, uh, and we just haven't been able to come to fruition on it. So uh, I don't, I don't want to predict or speculate one way or the other. We obviously hope uh, that the Russians will accept the proposal that's been offered so that we can bring these two Americans home. How about that American teacher, Mark Fogel? He's in a 14-year sentence now for carrying medicinal marijuana that was prescribed by a doctor. Is he part yeah. of these negotiations? If not, why not? Uh, we are aware of, uh, of his case, and uh, we're certainly trying to get more information about it. Um, I can tell you that the proposal that we set forth and the and the, the arrangement we've been trying to work on with the Russians for the last several weeks ha has really centered uh, on Mrs. Greiner and Mr. Whalen. Why not Mr. Fogel? Well, again, I don't want to get ahead of where we are, George. Uh, we're, we're looking into that case. We're aware of it, uh, but I'm not in a position to, to speak in detail about it. All right. Well, we can talk in more detail. Let's bring in ABC's Patrick Rebel in Odessa, Ukraine, acting director for the Wilson Center Kennan Institute, William Pomeranz, and also host and legal analyst for the Law and Crime Network, Terry Austin. Patrick, let's start with you. As we heard Mary Bruce say in her piece that the Biden administration is making quite the gamble here, making this proposal public. Why now? 
You know, Kira, I think that is the key question. Why is the White House going public right now? Because normally when we talk about prisoner exchanges, we only learn that a deal has been done once the person is already on the way back to the U.S. That's very much the case with Trevor Reed, this other American who was freed in May um, and whose case we covered extensively. We only learned that he was coming home once he was already in the air on the way to the U.S. And I think really what it most likely means is that right now, as far as we understand it, from what the White House is saying, a deal has been on the table for Victor Boot now for several weeks. And for some reason, Russia is not biting. And what that means is if they're going public, it's because they're trying to push Russia into doing it, and perhaps also to try and show that they are trying to do something to get Brittany Griner out. And I think what that means actually is right now, it doesn't mean this deal is necessarily imminent because it, obviously it takes two to tango. We need Russia to also agree to this in order for a deal to go ahead. So, William, what are your thoughts on this proposal of a prisoner swap for a convicted Russian arms dealer who threatened to kill Americans? Good idea? Well, I think it's the, the, the deal that's on the table, and that's where we, we stand right now. Um, clearly, they're not equivalent in terms of their alleged crimes. Uh, Victor, Victor Boot is an arms dealer. Uh, Brittany Griner was detained for just a minor offense. But nevertheless, this is uh, evidently who the Russians want to exchange. Uh, but if the timetable is up to the Russians. They will decide whether they want to make this deal and when. So, Terry, Brittany Griner testified in court explaining how she uh, packed for Russia in a hurry because she was recovering from COVID and accidentally put these put the prescription of the cannabis cartridges in her bag. What other key takeaways did you hear from her testimony? And do you think, how do you think it'll impact her case? I thought she did a great job testifying. She was able to tell her story. She pleaded guilty, but she explained she was only pleading guilty to the fact that she was carrying these drugs and not guilty as far as her criminal intent because she did not intend to break the law. She explained that she understood the law, but she wasn't intending to break it. So I think that was important. She also told the court that she wasn't given her rights. And under Russia law, you are supposed to be given in your rights within three hours of detention and you are in those rights supposed to have a lawyer have a translator be given a phone call so she was able to explain that not all of that was done and I think that was important to hear she did a good job under cross-examination it's risky being on that stand the other thing I wanted to mention is she wanted to get out of that cage that we've seen her in because of her height the attorneys asked whether or not she could the judge said no but she was allowed to sit and give her testimony from within that cage. Right. And William Mark Fogel, who's this teacher here in the U.S., who is also currently detained in Russia, is serving 14 years for similar drug charges uh, to Brittany Griner. Why is the Biden administration leaving him out of this prisoner swap offer? Because it's a very complicated offer to begin with. And we're trying to exchange two Americans for one Russian. I don't know if the Russians would want to exchange three Americans for one Russian. So if we actually want to include Mr. Fogel in the negotiations, we would most likely have to increase the number of Russians who are in custody today in the United States in order to make a deal. So Patrick, what can we expect in the coming days? You know, I've covered these, you know, I've been covering these cases of detained Americans for quite a while now. I think, you know, the positive sign for the families is that the U.S. has clearly come, reached the opinion that it can make a deal. But I think now we're going to see, uh, we're going to see Secretary of State Anthony Blinken meet with, um, we'll have a, to talk with Russia's Foreign Minister Lavrov, and we'll see whether anything comes out of that. I think most likely we're going to be hearing that the Russians are trying to push to try and add more sweetness to these deals, and whether that means they want two for two in terms of they want another Russian to be added to this deal. I think they'll also be trying to get the U.S. to try and give sanctions relief related to Ukraine. So I think we have to wait and see. I don't think it feels right now that this is going to be imminent. All right, one more question, Terry. Uh, Brittany's trial set to resume August 2nd. So what can we expect from that hearing? Well, I think we know already that there's a 99% conviction rate in Russia for criminal trials. So we're expecting at the end of the day that she will be found guilty. And we will see what the sentence will be at that point in time. And the sentence is 10 years. Hopefully this negotiation will have concluded by that point. All right, Patrick, William, Terry, thank you all so much. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.